Okay, hot labs. Oh, look, so my sitting right here. Are you here to secure the situation? Are you all right, dude? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnar. Must produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnar. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to this station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. What about the male? Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. This was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaking theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up in the lab. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet in my day. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct. Whoa, there you go. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh, six ever Terran <laughs> That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakov. We're moving on. Logging yes, 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 yes. I forgot to check the guy's body. Run back, run back. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Have the code, bitch. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Oh, time to go.
Finished. We can get out of here now. Oh, this freaky place. to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Oh. Uh, uh, yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Hey, right, listen is to the Council. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Oh, hey, connected them. Oh, was it? It's loading, but it's not really loading. No, you got people with different expects. Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. I have to go. Alright, see ya. It kind of sucks that he doesn't have that much dialogue compared to he did in 2 and 3. I hate the stupid fly. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Tim and I, I like the company. I like the company. open to my officers. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen in the Commander. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. But if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly crossed my heart and hope to die. What are you talking about? Uh, Dr. Tussauds. There's a lower deck room in this place. Interesting. It's more than the source of closing data. She's a very interesting lady. 
I never claimed to be big on alien culture. Ha! <laughs> You're a dummy. My relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. All right, only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off-duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. This is the mouse live light line especially I'm tired of this, Lieutenant. I don't care if you have a problem with me chatting up Liara. It's none of your business. Yes, Commander. Just had some static on my car. Got some signals wrong. It won't happen. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal briefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren, sir. Who's been busy anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Okay. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the rack knife? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. We weren't out here doing the rack knife war. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Oh, I think I said something wrong, but oh well. Are you doing well, right? If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. <laughs> We're short-lived. We don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of this? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They well, saw something us, special we, in you, we, we buy like the best of what humanity mouse. has to offer. I looked into your history. I got a game in. I got a. It was a remarkable. I got a game in mouse. But it came with my game on computer. What do you say, Siri? Yeah, I, I got a game in mouse, and that came with my computer. But what the fuck? Siri got a game in mouse. I don't think it cost that much. I'm just trying to. Fifty bucks. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit. Your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, yeah, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and He's Lieutenant so Lenko. The Lieutenant and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? 
I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do that to Dwarf Owen, but I'm a Terrier woman. That's right. It's like in Dragon Age, I'm an elf woman. I just have that special air about. I don't know why. The chicken, uh, the thing that looks like a, uh, uh, looks like a chicken and a freaking elf with long ears. Wee! Calm down, Tim. Okay, we got we got that cat rapist in the call. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. In that case, that's why you go on the internet and look at reviews. I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the city now. Most of it harmless, nothing like that. Then you must fuck at it. But during the course of my investigation, <laughs> you must have did something to it. Is it this keyboard doesn't like you? We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. Oh, and the way we hear them clicking. Black market lab or some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Sorry, doesn't like your. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure out. Fuck you and his computer. I'm not So, how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of the sample and ran the tests. What the hell? The man who led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his living. After a bit of digging, I discovered that he was a brief with Dr. Salium, the geneticist. So, we went to his lab and to find evidence of cloned organs. <laughs> Two guys saying, why is everybody's my name's in everybody's mouth? Not one Krogan testicle. Krogan testicles. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility or counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to ten thousand credits each. That's forty thousand for a full set. What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing the suspicious. You mean threatening? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. <laughs> One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the end of the hour. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. <laughs> I ordered a full exam. Parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. We pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs are good. Sometimes more than we play. But on the other hand, it's not hidden, so nobody can see it. That's the worst part. We never caught it. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, the ship was already released. He threatened to kill his hostages and kill his But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. I just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Pat and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. 
All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they'd died by now anyway. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, as I think it was I guess. I told the military that they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, I'll take me with you when you go. If it's Salian, I'll be there when you find him. Okay, Gareth. 